Hey guys, this is how you diagnose a fault on a magnetic fire meter. Risk assessment. <clears throat> Next, make sure you're in a dark, old industrial environment. <laughs> this stuff. Digital multimeter, IR tester, moving coil meter, and some screwdrivers and other tools and stuff. We're looking at a old Danfoss slash Siemens flow meter. One, keep it simple, stupid. Check the display for any faults. On these flow meters, I know that if this thing is flashing, there's something wrong. We press this button here, and we have a coil current fault. Check cables. What does that mean? There are two main components to a magnetic flow meter, the coil and then the electrodes. The coil is powered by the transmitter, which then produces in a magnetic field with inside the tube. Water passes through the tube, being conductive, it distorts that magnetic field and is picked up by the electrodes. So how do you test the coil and the electrodes? I'm going to show you. Up, oh, isolate power. Don't worry, this is all extra low voltage stuff. Once isolated, pull this bad boy off. A quick rundown. Power, coil, electrodes, and those little blue things on top are surge arresters. I have removed the coil and I'm going to check its resistance. All these flow meters have a reasonably well known resistance. This one should be about 100 ohms. Okay, testing. Mm, almost 60,000 ohms. Not good. Next up, IR test or insulation resistance test, and we want to see it above about one mega ohm, no less. So make sure you find a good earth, get your coil cables ready, and then have your IR tester set to the lowest setting possible. We are testing one side of the coil, and it is almost zero mega ohms. Not good. <laughs> Next up, we're going to test the electrodes. Remove your electrodes and make sure you've got your moving coil meter or analog meter ready to go. I've set mine on 1K. There are two electrodes, 83 and 82, and zero is common. Similar to the coil, these are a reasonably well-known quantity of around 15 to 30K ohms each. I'm going to test 82 first. We're getting around 30-ish, almost up to 40K ohm. And we're testing number 83. And we're getting a very, very similar reading of almost up to 40k ohm. What you're really looking for here is very similar readings for both of those electrodes. If you're getting an open circuit or a really, really high impedance, it's not good. These are pretty good though. All right, guys, that is how you diagnose a magnetic flow meter. I know this was based around a Siemens flow meter, but they're all basically made up of the same stuff. So make sure you check in with the manufacturer or your distributor for what readings you need for those electrodes and coils.